What did I tell you? Oh my god. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm an actual genius. Ladies and gentlemen, I said in my last video that you heard it here first that this whole Black Ops 3 update crap was all part of an elaborate genius plan by Treyarch and Activision for a teaser for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And it has happened. The revolution has arrived. So as you can see, this is pretty much not, you know, really giving off too much. It was just a flashback of all the stuff we've already seen from Black Ops 1, 2, 3, and all the zombies. Like, not much we haven't seen already. But the main reason I actually wanted to make this video, because I'm pretty sure all of you have already seen this teaser trailer, is the date at the end of this video. As you can see, this game is going to be coming out on October 12th. Never in the history of Call of Duty have we ever had a single game that came out in October. And no, Modern Warfare Remastered doesn't count because that's a remastered game of an old game. And not only was it the campaign that released in October, but it was also only on PlayStation 4, so that doesn't really count at all. I'm talking about a flagship mainline Call of Duty game. Never in history has it ever released in October. And I'm here to tell you exactly why this game is coming out in October. Or at least why I think it's coming out in October. So I actually have two reasons why I think this game is releasing in October. One of them I'm pretty sure is exactly correct, and the other I'm a little iffy on. So the first one is that Activision decides, hey, we want to change things up. We don't want the same formula over and over again. Because you can see with Call of Duty World War II, it was a successful game financially, but over the time, not many people are playing the game anymore. Everyone kind of just moved on to Fortnite, so they decided, let's change some things up. Maybe there's a lot of DLC content that's going to be free, or a lot of updates, or just a lot of new features that they're going to be introducing into Call of Duty so in order to make that happen they're gonna you know decide to move the date back a little bit and let the game release a month early so they have time to release all this cool shit to people to do and you know that's great but that's a little iffy I'm not too sure about that the second reason which is absolutely I am almost sure is the reason why this game is coming out in October instead of the usual early November launch Red Dead Redemption 2 for a Call of Duty game to be able to change the date from November to October, it takes some huge freaking balls to do that. And of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Rockstar Games, that's the biggest freaking balls you're gonna see in the online gaming community. Activision is actually really, really smart about this because they know that they have practically no other competition out there. But this game, even though it's not a first person shooter, it's not an online multiplayer shooter, it's a single player game. This game alone can destroy Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Look at GTA 5, that thing came out in 2013. It sold over a billion dollars worth of copies in a day. Until this day, even though the community is a little bit dead, there are still people playing that game. And that game is still one of the most popular games out there. When it comes to sales, when it comes to revenue, just in general. Rockstar Games is not a company you can just say, oh, I don't know. I don't care if they're releasing our game on the same freaking month or the same week. We can release this. No, 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 no. Rockstar Games, you can't. It doesn't even matter what. It could be the shittiest game they ever developed out there. Rockstar Games, don't mess with them. And the real reason why I think this is happening is look at Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare was Call of Duty at its low. Battlefield 1 was Battlefield at its highest. And Infinite Warfare was still able to completely destroy Battlefield at that moment. When it comes to sales, when it comes to revenue. So for Activision to see that, hey, Red Dead Redemption... It's coming out in November, around the same time that we might be releasing our game every year. Mm, maybe it's not a good idea for us to actually release it that. That shows a lot of respect from Activision to Take-Two and Rockstar. Because no other company out there can do anything like that against Call of Duty, against Activision, Blizzard, anything like that. No other company. So if you're wondering why exactly this game is actually going to be coming out in October 12th, I just told you, you heard it here first, it is confirmed, I have insider news. I am the insider, in fact, I am Activision. So you don't have to go anywhere else, I am your number one option for Call of Duty news. Even though it's like seven hours later, all right? I will give you the latest and greatest Call of Duty news as expected every single day that it happens. All right, I kind of went off on a little tangent there, but you know exactly what I mean. I know what I'm talking about, I've had a lot of experience with Call of Duty. And I know common sense when it comes to gaming and just the economics out there when it comes to gaming. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is exactly why I decided to release this game on October 12th instead of the typical early November launch. Also, if you didn't notice in this video, the game will be getting a full community event and content reveal on May 17th. I'm excited for that. Um, I'm not giving up on World War II. I'm still going to be playing World War II, but I'm also going to be playing Black Ops 3 as well. I keep forgetting the camera's right there, not up there. I keep looking... I have like multiple cameras, I keep looking at that instead of it. 
whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like because you're cool. And I will actually enjoy if you gave it a like. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm your Max the Destroyer. You've just been destroyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Blow out, world star before rap. You already know that. So fresh prince, they are about to bring the show back. Don't call, gotta say mushy mushy. Mushy mushy. Girlfriend acting all witchy watchy. It's your birthday, make an earthquake. Fell in love with it.